have more power than you like to give yourself credit for. And if you have something that's going on in your life right now that's... So it's Monday morning and you look in your pantry, you look in your fridge and you have no snacks for your kids' lunch. Do not stress out. I've got you covered with some amazing recipes. I'm gonna show you how quick within 10 minutes I can have two snacks for the entire week while I'm making their lunches. As long as we have these things in our pantry, we can always make snacks and we don't have to rely on the supermarket for their garbage processed snacks. So three ingredient chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. So I tend to keep the, obviously I keep the, uh, the school snacks nut free. So we got two large bananas, half a cup of chocolate chips. Okay. And one and three quarters quick oats and like no fuss here. Okay, three quarters. I'm just going to mix those ingredients all together. I might even add a little bit of liquid water uh, just so that it sticks together. And then I'm gonna just plop them on the baking sheet and bake them for 15 to 20 minutes until cookies are golden at the top. So we've got no sugar, we've got no chemicals, no process, no high fructose corn syrup. Um, and something that the whole family can enjoy, you know, that mom, kids, everybody can enjoy these dads. You want to just feed your family from you, not from a box, especially kids. They don't need that garbage when they go to school because what it does, it messes with the receptors. High fructose corn syrup messes with the receptors in your child's brain. And so when your child gets to school after having a bowl of cereal, they will be excited. They will be uh, high strung. It's a drug, it's a drug people. Can't be giving it to our kids and expect them to perform. I'm gonna make my second cookie, which is the chocolate chip macaroons, a fantastic one. So we got two thirds cup almond flour, preferred or paleo. I'm doing, I ran out of almond flour, so I'm doing my own little mixture, which is coconut flour today and quinoa flour. And that's what we can't be afraid of. We can't be afraid of experimenting. What's the worst that's gonna happen? You're gonna get a tray of cookies that didn't work out, who cares? You have to constantly experiment. I'm putting one quarter cup of maple syrup, one and a half cups of coconut flakes, two tablespoons of coconut oil, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and chocolate chips, three tablespoons, okay? Like I said, we're in a rush, we gotta get to school. Let's use this. And we're just gonna mash all the ingredients. So I just put about half a cup of warm water to make the mixture sticky and get that coconut oil melted. And then we're gonna just stick it on the parchment. Actually, this one is baked at 200 degrees for 15 minutes, so we're gonna bake those separately. Okay, so our school snacks are ready. Uh, I baked them separate. We've got the almond macaroon cookies here, and then the banana oat chocolate chip. That's literally what's in it, banana oats and chocolate chips. Uh, I left it in a little bit too long, but honestly, the density is amazing, and the texture is awesome, and now it's just throw them in their school bag, in their lunches, and you're done. So no need, even on a late morning where you didn't do groceries, have these items in your pantry and you will never be short on lunchtime snacks. So one of our go-to shakes that is a definite crowd pleaser amongst children is Julius's chocolate snicker shake. And while there is protein powder in it, he is nine years old, but it's grass fed protein. It's a very clean protein and it comes from a Canadian company that I trust. So we're gonna do one scoop of protein powder, a little bit of peanut butter, adults and children. You know, we can get carried away with nut butter and they are high in fat. So you still wanna be mindful of how much you're using even for your children. A tiny little bit of maple syrup. And remember, this is like a dessert smoothie, um, but I don't feel bad about giving it to them because 
Guess what? Cauliflower, half a frozen banana, and you're gonna either use an almond milk or just straight up water works fantastic. Um, I prefer making my own almond milk, but this will do. Now you're probably thinking, my kids are not gonna like cauliflower in their shake. What kid would like cauliflower in their shake? They won't know. What they don't know will not hurt them. Don't worry. Cauliflower is one of those vegetables that's extremely tasteless. You know, you could put it in any smoothie, anything. They will not know it's there. So you got your, the Julius Snicker shake with cauliflower and a frozen banana. It tastes delicious. Enjoy.